So you've been making music for a while now. Maybe you're a rapper, maybe you're a producer, beat maker, singer, songwriter. Maybe you're a member of a band and you've been putting your music up on Spotify and all the other streaming platforms. You've been doing some gigs here and there for a little bit of side money but it's just not getting the momentum that you're looking for. So at this point, you've uploaded all these songs, you're not getting the streams that you're looking for, the venues that you want to perform at aren't taking you seriously, so you take your best material and kind of lock it away to try to figure out the secret formula. Now where you currently are is you have this huge stash of new music that nobody's heard yet because you've been waiting for this momentum to grow. You've been waiting for these bigger venues to take you seriously. You even have music videos that you've spent time and money on, maybe photo shoots, and your question is, when do I release this to the world? When do I build this momentum? When can I come out of my hiatus? Well, in this video, I'm gonna take you by the hand and walk you through the process of taking that new music and getting that momentum that you've always dreamed of. Stay tuned. What's going on guys, Adam Ivy, adamivy.com. As always, I appreciate you joining me yet again for another video. So let's get right into it. I recently received a DM from a talented creator over on Instagram who happens to be one of my followers, and they said this, they said, Adam, Right now I have albums, videos, and singles that are in the vault as of now because I'm tired of getting low streams and terrible venues to perform at due to lack of promotion and management. I would like, uh, I would like to be tactical with my formula to come out of this hiatus and reach new heights. Can you help me with this? So I felt like I had to address this question in a video, not just responding to the message because this is something that I get in all forms and fashions via emails, DMs, messages. Uh, side note, if you wanna send me a DM, if you wanna send me a comment and connect with me, Instagram's the way to do it or the comment section below this video. Uh, I'll put the information up on the screen uh, now and if you wanna contact me, all my information, including how I shoot these videos and what gear I use, will be in the description box below. So I know a lot of you guys are struggling with this. You have all this new music, but you're afraid to release it because the music that you have put out, whether that be 10 songs, whether that be 100, aren't performing the way that you were hoping that they would. The momentum hasn't built quite yet. And you don't wanna waste all this, all these gems on no listens. You don't wanna waste all these gems and then have to get back to the drawing board because it didn't do anything. All right, so this video is not gonna be very long because it's incredibly straightforward. Now it might be a bit of a rant, but just bear with me. The music that you're holding in the vault needs to be out to the people. The content that you make is not for you, it's for the people. Imagine if I fill up my fridge with steaks and vegetables and all this good stuff for an amazing barbecue and nobody shows up. I'm disappointed. Am I gonna just keep all that stuff in the fridge? It's gonna go bad. Music becomes dated. Music needs to be out to the people, like I said. You can't go to a big venue and expect them to book you on what you are planning on doing, on what you're planning on releasing. How are you gonna build momentum if you're not consistently posting. I know that it can be very disappointing. I'm gonna you know, take a step back and as a creator, I understand this. I've been producing for over 12 years now. Let's say that five years in, I thought that that music was the best music of my life and in all reality it was at that point. But now looking back at it, I'm like, oh, that's kind of cringeworthy. It's the same as being a creator, the same as making music, same as putting out albums or singles or whatever records. You have to keep producing. That's the only way that you're ever gonna build a sustainable income. That's the only way that you're ever gonna build a sustainable career. How many large acts have album after album after album before they even got signed? How many big rappers have millions of mixtapes? Look at Future, for instance. I think he put out like a dozen mixtapes before, before he was signed and actually really promoted like that. So as a creator, it's so easy to say, I have all this, all these gems in the vault. I have all this content that I'm incredibly proud of, but I wanna, I wanna do it the right way. So what do you do to build hype in the music industry? What do you do to build hype as a music creator? You have to constantly post new content. So that stuff that you have in the vault needs to be released. I apologize if that's not what you wanted to hear. The venues are not going to mess with you until you have a following. The venues, are, the big venues, little venues, you need to start appreciating those little venues, by the way, because those little venues, any venue that gives you a shot, any venue that gives you a chance is a networking opportunity. Maybe the venue that you're working on, the, the owner also owns another venue that you don't know of. Maybe he's buddies with a big venue owner that he's gonna refer you and say, hey, this guy's been really crushing it. I think you should give him a chance. Now, I'm not trying to oversimplify the process. I know a lot of you guys might be rolling your eyes right now saying, Adam, it's not that simple. Adam, it's not that easy. Well, it is. It really is a step-by-step -step process. How long have you been doing it? How long have you been consistent? Uh, do you just post and ghost your music, as I call it? You post up something, you do a few social links, and then you just wait. You wait for the streams to come, and you wait for the people to come and, and be your raving fans. It doesn't work like that. It does not work like that. And I'm not saying that this individual is, is doing that. But to have a vault of gems, to have the greatest music that, you, in your, that you've ever made in your life just sitting and collecting dust 
is doing you absolutely no good. Now, I will say this. If you want to create a marketing strategy, if you want to create a promotional strategy, and that's something else that they, they said in their, their comment is the lack of promotion, a lack of management. You don't need a fucking manager. I'm gonna tell you that. Unless you're like a big name and you have no time to manage yourself and you're getting so many inquiries, you don't need a manager. I've seen this, on, DJs hit me up all the time, bro, I need management. No, you don't. You just need to stop being lazy. You need to actually contact human beings. You need to stop being an introvert. You're behind a keyboard, you can talk to people, you're not face to face. So many artists, so many producers, bro, will you manage me? I don't need a, I don't need to fucking manage you. Manage yourself, manage your own actions. Take action. I'm not gonna do the work for you to get 15%, although most managers nowadays will be take like 50 or 60% because you're just, uh, that's a whole different rant for a different video. If you wanna see me do a video on if you need management or not and the reasons why or reasons why not, leave a comment in the comments below because these videos, I'll go from being in a great mood to just kind of pissed off sometimes. You need to put in the work. If you want the life that not a lot of people get to experience, you gotta do the work that not a lot of people are willing to do. It's, it's a pretty simple equation. If you've made 10 songs and you're disappointed with the performance of those 10 songs, make another 100 songs. Everybody that hits me up asking me how to build a YouTube channel, for instance, they say, Adam, I made five videos. What do I do now? I don't have any followers. I don't have any subscribers. I have 23 subscribers. I'm like, you have five videos. Make 50 more videos and then come back to me. Because a lot of people dabble. Are you a dabbler? Is this something that you just want to do for, you know, a few years? You could tell your kids, oh, I used to be in a band. Oh, I used to rap. Oh, I used to make beats. Or is this something that you actually want to make money on? Actually want to do as a career? Last time I checked, if I go to a job, uh, you know, let's say an engineering job. That's a, that's a great example for my engineering buddies. Let's say that you're a mechanical engineer. And you go to a job and you tell them, hey, you know, I'm interested in this position. They're like, oh, what have you done? Say, well, this, these are a couple projects I've done, but I got a whole lot of stuff at home that I haven't released yet. I have a whole lot of stuff. They're gonna roll their eyes and say, oh, we'll, we'll, we'll call you, right? And it's not gonna work out. If you're a wedding photographer, for instance, and you go and you're, you're talking to clients, you're like, trust me, I can do the job, trust me, I'm here for you, uh, I have the experience. And they're like, oh yeah, let me see your portfolio. They're like, whoa, 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 hold on. I got the, I'll show you a couple photos. But the, the best stuff, the best stuff that I've edited, I'm waiting to be a bigger name. I'm waiting to be able to charge more to show those to you. It doesn't, it doesn't work like that. You have to start from the ground up. You have to appreciate every step that you're at. And I feel like I have a squirrely eyebrow. You ever have a squirrely eyebrow? I have some squirrely eyebrows with real high arches. That's a whole different story. Like it's early. It's like 6 a.m. in the morning right now. Uh, what I'm getting at, guys, is you can't be afraid to release your music. You can't be afraid to, to hold on. You can't be so afraid, rather, that you never release it. It's, it's a disservice to you. It's a disservice for those people that are fans of yours. So let's say that you have 100 people streaming your music on Spotify. It's not 1,000. It's not 10,000. It's not a million. That's the goal, right? But word of mouth is very strong. If you have a lot of content up and live to share with the world, that's a whole lot more content that you can market, right? If I have 10 videos here on YouTube, I'm going to run out of content to market about. I'm going to have things, I'm going to run out of things to talk about very quickly compared to if I have 100 videos where I can take a snippet from this video, maybe I have a bunch of blog articles, maybe you have a ton of different songs. I know as producers, you know, a lot of, a lot of you guys, a lot of my friends are, pro are producing and posting three new songs a week, uh, two new songs a week, more than that sometimes, depending if you're doing it full time. So you have a whole lot more content, you keep it fresh. You know, I think we all know somebody on social media that keeps posting the same photo. They, they got like one photo shoot. I was guilty of it back in the day. And I actually, I, I sound like a, a hypocrite right now, but I actually tell people to repost photos after a certain amount of time. But if you have one photo shoot, it just looks like the same photo being posted over and over and over again. What I'm getting at is you need consistent content. You need variety. You need to show the world that you're constantly working on something. I did another video saying that the 33% the you know, posting uh, formula that I came up with is all about showing people that you're making progress. Labels wanna see that you're making progress. Venues wanna see that you're coming out with new music. It's, it's the spice of life. It's, it's really, I mean, that sounded really profound, but it's really like as a musician, as a creator, you have to keep creating. You can't just create one dish and it, you get what I'm saying? Does that make sense? In the com comments below, let me know if this all makes sense to you. 
You don't need a manager. You, you do need to promote, but that's, that's on you to do. Nobody's gonna do that for you. Now, we'll talk about it in another video, the time money formula, the time money ratio. If you want me to talk about that, put that in the comments below. I wanna know what you guys want me to talk about because I have a whole list, but I know that some things are, are more important to you than others. Time money ratio, real quick. Either you have the time to do it yourself, or if you don't have the time to do it yourself, you have the money to have somebody else do it for you. You, can't, you, you can have both, I guess, but most of the time it's either the time or money. I learned how to do all this stuff by myself because I didn't have the money to figure out, you know, to pay somebody to do it for me. Uh, you know, now that I'm building a team, it's kind of, you know, teetering on towards the money side uh, here and there. I'm not saying that I have a, a, just a couple buddies that help me with some, some things once in a while, but what I'm getting at is you might have some friends that could help you with something. You might have a family member that can help you with something. You might have a family member that's a photographer. You might have a family member that's good at writing that could help write PR, uh, you know, information, not information, PR releases that you can give to, to firms or give to uh, different, I'm rambling, get, give to different platforms even even social media to announce new releases and stuff like that. You can have somebody write uh, emails to venues to try to get better. Maybe you're just not good at talking to people. And that's something that is a, a skill that you have to develop over a long period of time. That's a muscle that you really have to develop is talking to people, understanding how to pitch yourself to these venues. Maybe your music's amazing. Maybe these venues would take you seriously, but you just need an intermediary or you need somebody to help you write emails or make phone calls for you. Uh, that's just better with people. You know, we all have a friend. I have a friend, uh, Danny, AKA Chico. Uh, I'll put a link to his um, podcast in the, in the description box below. But what I'm getting at is he's like one of the most extroverted people, 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 people that I know. Uh, he can talk to anybody. I'm pretty introverted, but when we're out and about, this guy, he warms up to everybody. He gets everybody to like him. And that's the type of people that you might need if you're super introverted. You might have a buddy that's just really good at talking to people. You're like, hey, look, like, I get really nervous when I talk to club owners. I get really nervous when I talk to promotional people and managers and stuff when it comes to booking, booking gigs. Can you help me? It's all it takes sometimes. It's just like, can you help me? Like I said, I'm not trying to oversimplify this. I hope you found some value in this video. If you did, I know this is just one long, pretty much unedited cut. I would appreciate you letting me know what you got out of this video by leaving that in the comments below. I've asked you for a lot of comments. You don't have to leave any comments if you don't want to. But what I do ask is that you, if you found any value in this video whatsoever, smash that thumbs up button, smash that like button. And if you haven't yet, I invite you to hit that button over there to uh, subscribe to my channel. And if you haven't yet, hit that little bell icon to become a BFF and be become part of the channel family here on my channel. I hope you found some value in this video, guys. I really do. Uh, hopefully I answered this guy's question. You need to release your music. I know it's hard to imagine that you're gonna work all these hours on this music. I know it's hard to kind of come to terms with putting out this music to, it seems like no one. But imagine if this house, this is like a 2,100 square foot house, something like that. Imagine if I had 100 people in here. That'd be like a lot of freaking people. That'd be like a lot, like social media totally warps your perception of how many people are people, right? If I have 2,100 people, view a video of mine in, in let's say a week, that's a lot of people. That's like, if you walk around Target on a busy day, you might have like, what, a couple hundred people, maybe maybe 500 max. Yet, if you're getting 500 streams on a song, that's a lot of people. You can't compare yourself to the people that are getting millions of streams just quite yet. Those people have some, some time in under their belt. They might have, you know, a couple of unfair advantages as far as marketing, you know, but we can't, we can't harbor you know, uh, resentment and cynicism on what other people are doing. You know, there's a great quote out there. It's like, never compare your chapter one to somebody else's chapter 20. And it's so true, guys. Just keep at it. Keep putting out good music. Keep spreading the word. Believe in yourself. Market yourself and make a career for yourself. I'm here to help. If you haven't yet, like I said, subscribe. And until next time, you can find me at AdamIvy.com.